All right, you just go ahead and hold my North African coast and drive on to the front of Tripoli. Now, how are the Marines doing for their training? Slowly but surely. Meanwhile, the fighting in Malaysia gets heavier. secured. So with all of the close air supports, I think what I'm going to do is assign you to the Marines. I was like, hang on, have I stopped researching the uh, strap bombers? No. No, I have not. They really are trying. Alright, who's going to replace you? Bill Slim? He has got very good supply, which is going to be useful in the jungle. Bill Slim it is. Who was the historical? Oh no, it was Burma. Burma had a really good general. Who was that? Like one of the unsung heroes of the Second World War. One of the few generals to have never lost a battle. Because it wasn't the Malaysia guy. The Malaysia guy was useless. He was one of the worst commanders of World War II. Oh, that was Harold Alexander. Alexander's quite famous. I thought. Huzzah! I think it is William Slim. Oh, Batten's the Navy guy. Archie Wavell was a field marshal. Hey Charles, how are you doing? Haven't seen you around for a while. Thank you very much for the 24 month resub. How's life in Sweden? Sweden is doing good. Rather liking it here. Oh, strength and resistance. Failed to make contact. Okay, I guess that was a fail then. Can you post a link? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, Field Marshal William Smith Slim, best known for commanding the 14th Army in Burma during the Second World War. He inherited a disastrous situation with which, with pragmatic skill and quiet charisma, he turned into ultimate victory. So it was William Slim, I thought so. 
Well, we just put him in charge of the Burma front, so... Well, of the Malaya front, technically, because we never lost it. There we go, Whitley Bomber is done. Let's go on to the next. And I think we're ultimately going to start actually producing these. And we should be able to get Lancasters by 43. Well, at some point in 43. What's the difference between a Halifax and a Whitley? Is it worth me building these? Probably not. No, they have half the range. So I think we wait until the Halifax, and then we start building those. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to split these out. And I'm going to say I want each of you To have two light cruisers. Carry on. And you may also do this with light risk. Because you are using really modern light cruisers. And submarines are only slightly more expensive than convoys. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, Crown Colony. Which I feel like we even went ahead of time to build or to research. Oh, Minotaur is now available though. We'll need to take a look into that. 52 surface detection. Yeah, Minotaurs are amazing at recon. 144 torpedoes. They're three times more torpedoes. And it's faster. Lower range, but that doesn't matter so much here. Oh, they're quite significantly more expensive too. And then Tigers in 43, which... Might even be worth going straight to that. Slightly more surface detection. Less damage. Three times more anti-air. So yeah, Tiger class is really what I want. Anti-air and recon. And let speed do the rest. Can we invade Crete with the Minotaurs? We'll have to see what we can do. Yeah, we have one of these. Oh, you are a single crown colony. All right, I'll add you another. Do you know what? I feel like this needs more ships. light engagement for you. Mediterranean fleets I'm not going to because that's still kind of dangerous. Come on.
further naval invasions going on in the Philippines. The Malaysia battle continues to rage. Is Willis starting to get some more experience? Yes, he is. You're about to get superior tactician, which is good. Venezuela wants to join the Allies. Yes, for sure. That didn't happen historically, did it? Venezuela? Um, are they at war with Vichy into China? No. I think in this mod they only take the southern bit, which is what they wanted for air bases and um, ports to get at Malaysia. I don't think they wanted the whole of Indochina. Or maybe they didn't get the whole of Indochina historically, I'm not sure. This border does not seem to have changed for a long time. I don't know what Japan is doing. German convoy is going through the Irish Sea. That's also very brave. But sure. Uh, let's take a look down here. We want the anti-submarine warfare. There we go, we want the repair yards. Though our navy is among the world's largest, we must also have the means to quickly repair our ships should they incur battle damage, or our enemies may wear us down through attrition. Expanding our repair yards would not only achieve this, but enable us to refit some of the older models in a more timely manner. You want to send me even more guns? I will not say no to this. I am now super short on trucks. Is that because you guys want trucks and you really don't need them? However, you should probably have them. Okay, not too much longer and then the marines are trained. These templates are kind of rubbish. Um, let's go and add Bring in some extra artillery as well. That might have been part of the reason why my marines were so drastically underperforming. Also, those motorized look suspiciously like they're ready. So let's have them train. Okay, bunch of infiltrations are now finished. So we're once again spying on the Germans. I think I actually want you over in Japan because we have nothing against the Japanese yet. So let's get that going.
A bunch of South American countries joined at the tail end of World War II, for example Brazil. Yeah, Brazil joined right after the United States in this game, which was super early. Venezuela was neutral but secretly supported the Allies during their neutrality on the war. Aha. Uh -huh. There's not a huge amount we can do over there. So the next thing really will be Greece, I think. Possibly Sicily. Possibly Vichy. I think once these guys are trained, we'll send them off on their attack. Let Merton get some experience. Meanwhile, another air doctrine. Possibly time to start working on the strap bombing. battle going so we're once again fully secure over our own airspace I think it's probably time for me to start rejigging some of the air squadrons that we're building so I think for example we really want more bow forts bow forts are the heavy fighters right No, mosquitoes are. What are Beauforts? Oh, Beauforts are the patrol. Arrow, those are the ones I should be using here. Man, we do not have many of those. actually kind of thinking I probably want the Beauforts over here because they are so expensive to replace. They do have a bloody massive range. Yep, do it. Send them over here. Oh, once they've deployed. Come on. Now performance is becoming an issue. <laughs> Looking at how slowly time's passing at speed four. Hey Katie.
Why are you asking that of Bionic Arm? <laughs> Huzzah! Do I need all of the different naval ships in your tutorial? You have like support cruisers, cruisers that do escort, cruisers that hunt subs, and the same with destroyers. That's the part I think that confuses me. You get away with less of that. I would recommend destroyers. You need destroyers for escorting convoys against submarines. And then you also need destroyers for screening battle fleets. I will show you a difference in just a moment. Now that I can move my plates. There we go. Immediately sink a submarine, that's good. Okay, so if we take a quick look at our fleets, you can see that I've got a bunch of fleets which are just set up with uh, escorts. These are ships which are set up with good sonar and good uh, depth charges. So you can see that they all have sonar too, and they all have depth charges. And their job is primarily to sink submarines, find and destroy submarines. They are there to be the escorts for your convoys. Then you also have screens, which are the ships which are protecting your high seas fleets. And you need one destroyer for every four capital ships. Which is why I have so many destroyers in this fleet compared to the other ships, because I just need so many. We probably have too many, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then these ships are generally cheap and or having lots of torpedoes. So torpedo attacks are more important for those types of ships. Because their job is to gun down enemy screens and then use their torpedoes to sink capital ships. Swift Train, thank you very much for the 48 month resub. Very much appreciate that. Starting to miss the old Viking rig. I've been missing it for the last month and a half. Give me back my computer! Oh, that's another naval invasion. That's not looking very good for the Philippines. let these guys actually attack stuff. I wonder if you're getting more spotting skill. I mean, you're getting more skill in general. That's good. Oh yeah, look at that. 98% of the way to Ironside. 87% of the way to Spotter, so Rawlings has been doing amazingly. And then we have Frasier. He's still kind of a newbie. Alright, homing torpedoes. Don't think I need any of the other upgrades. Oh no, I probably need the naval upgrade. Naval invasion upgrade. Always try to keep those where possible. There goes the Philippines. That's not a lot of equipment. Well, we can definitely say that the Philippines fought till the last if that's all they had left. What's happened there? This is the voice of freedom, General MacArthur speaking. People of the Philippines, I have returned. By the grace of Almighty God, our forces stand again on Philippine soil, soil consecrated in the blood of our two people. We have come, dedicated and committed, to the task of destroying every vestige of enemy control over your daily lives, and of restoring upon a foundation of indestructible strength the liberties of your people. At my side is your president, Sergio Osmeña, Worthy successor of that great patriot, Manuel Quezon, with members of his cabinet. The seat of your government is now, therefore, firmly re-established on Philippine soil. The hour of your redemption is here. Your 
patriots have demonstrated an unswerving and resolute devotion to the principles of freedom that challenges the best that is written on the pages of human history. I now call upon your supreme effort that the enemy may know from the temper of an aroused and outraged people within that he has a force there to contend with no less violent than is the force committed from without. Rally to me. Let the indomitable spirit of Batan and Corregidor lead on. As the lines of battle roll forward to bring you within the zone of operations, rise and strike. Strike at every favorable Huzzah! For your homes and hearts, strike. For future generations of your sons and daughters, strike. In the name of your sacred dead, strike. Let no heart be faint. Let every arm be sealed. The guidance of divine God points the way. Follow in his name to the holy grail of righteous victory. Yes, that was MacArthur. What was more scary is when that cut in, my main monitor just turned itself off as well. The speech seems wrong, shouldn't it play when the Americans land on the Philippines instead of the Philippines falling? Yes, I think so. 